Hello, my name is Mark Blocker. In this segment, we're going to cover how to replace your brake rotors. To replace the brake rotors, first thing we're going to need to do, I've got the vehicle jacked up and I've got the tire removed. And what we're going to need to do to get the access to remove the rotor itself, is we're going to have to remove this caliper. So I'll turn it to the left for you. It's still going to be difficult to see from that angle, but back here in the back, this caliper assembly is held on by two 17 millimeter uh, bolts, or the actual nut is 17 millimeters, and you can use a ratchet and a socket assembly to remove those two bolts. Once you remove those bolts, this caliper should come off, and you just want to hang it by a bungee cord or drape it over something, hold it up. You don't want to let it dangle on this brake hose. Just simply remove it and pull it off to the side, and then by turning the wheel back forward again, to remove the rotor itself, we have two Phillips screws here. These are sometimes put in with Loctite on the threads to make sure they don't come loose. And it may require the use of an impact driver, a device that fits into the Phillips head. When you smack it, it twists and pushes at the same time to break those free. If not, just get them out with a standard Phillips screwdriver. After you remove these two screws, the rotor should be free to be removed. Simply replace the rotor in the same fashion. And if you're replacing it with a new rotor that's thicker, you need to remember to repress your calipers. You have to push those brake pads back and open the calipers up so they'll go over the, the wider thickness of the new rotor. That's how you replace brake rotors.